Rachel Garso with the On Your Side forecast. It is 517. We have kind of a good news, bad news scenario taking shape in my on your side forecast over the next several days. The bad news is today we have abnormal August heat. Once again, it'll be very hot once again this afternoon, pushing 100 across the Treasure Valley and then starting tomorrow. Good news is we do have a cool down coming in, but unfortunately the cooler air will also likely trigger some dry thunderstorms, some dry lightning and possibly some gusty winds. And we know what that means, right? That means the possibility of any little spark out there being fanned very quickly and turning into a fire with the dry fuels we have out there. Now, our weekend will also start off on a relatively comfy note for mid-August, 91. And then we just kind of get back to the mid-90s and stay put all the way through next week. So if you're planning your kid's wardrobe for back to school next week, I think shorts and t-shirts are probably still in order for a little while. Now, look at what's happening across the Northwest. You can kind of see what's happening as far as our trend goes. Cooler air already for Seattle and Portland. They are cooler at this point than they were 24 hours ago. We though are much warmer. Baker City and McCall 12 to 14 degrees milder than 24 hours ago and that is a story across the Treasure Valley as well. We have this warm air being drawn up ahead of this cooler air, this low pressure system that will be coming in from the northwest over the next couple of days. But for today, really that high pressure and that clockwise rotation bringing in the monsoon moisture today will be kind of our big story. And you see all the areas in tan here. This this means we are under a fire weather watch, but it's not actually until tomorrow. Many of these places like the area you see around Twin Falls in red will likely be upgraded to a fire weather warning before this is all said and done. So again, this is from Friday afternoon through midnight Friday and then into Saturday, early Saturday morning and air quality still continues to be a concern across much of Washington and Oregon. The top five cities with the worst air quality are in Washington and Oregon right now because of that wildfire smoke. So here's our future cast that shows a couple of stray little spotty showers could pop up this afternoon and some of our mountain locations, but as you watch kind of the swirl of this system start to come in, it'll interact with that moisture. We'll have that lift, that instability. This is tomorrow evening around six o'clock. Even some parts of the valley could pick up a stray thunderstorm or two. And then all this just kind of rolls off to the east. We will have drier, stable air coming in for Saturday. So we have a nice, sunny, warm start to the weekend. The smoke likely won't go anywhere. We're not seeing any gusty winds with this system except where the storms develop. So expect hazy and hot conditions for the long term. These are our high temperatures today, almost a carbon copy of yesterday, and this is with some cloud cover. So if we see just sunny skies, we could get a little hotter than this today. 97 for Caldwell, 98 expected in Boise and in Mountain Home. Mountain Home touched 100 degrees yesterday. 93 for Idaho City, partly cloudy skies up in the mountains today, still smoky. And even today, like I said, there's a very slim chance of some late day storms. That chance gets a little greater tomorrow, but much more comfortable temperatures with that high of 91 by Saturday. Then we just get abnormal warm again with highs in the mid 90s through the middle of next week.